up and welcome back to my channel. My name is James and today I am greeted with my sister Angel who is going to be helping me feed my first Trinidad of Tiger which is my second tarantula and I got it from Portsmouth Tarantulas. It's my first ever order from them and I'm super excited to feed it for the first time. It's very 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 tiny so we're going to be using the method of pre-killing a red runner but this method can also work for crickets and your doobie roaches. Fruit flies not entirely sure I've never had them before but you can try it if you want to. But yeah, well basically we're going to be doing that today for that tarantula. If you haven't had a uh, tarantula of tiger or you're planning to have one or you want to know how to feed one, this is your video to watch. We just finished feeding the curly hair, so if you want to see that video, make sure to go check it out. It's uploaded right now, which you can watch. So there you go, that's a little sneak peek. But um, I got the uh, this little tarantula in here from Portsmouth Tarantulas, my first ever order with them, and I got a little sticker as well, which is really nice. So yeah, if you want to see the unboxing of the Trinidad of Tiger, go check that video out as well, because we do have that video too. But yeah, this is going to be a separate feeding video, because we want to show people how to feed slings. Um, this one is pretty bolty. <laughs> it's um, pretty interesting. Do you want to hold the camera? I'm just going to open this up and pray that it doesn't decide to bolt out. So this tarantula has been given about 24 hours, or roughly actually 48 hours. I'm going to try and open this very carefully. There we go. So we've already cut up a red runner. The other half of the red runner went to the curly hair, and now we've got this tiny little piece right here, which I'm hoping it will eat. I can pick it up with my tongues. There we go. You want to get a side view here, up there? The tarantula is right there, so you have to get it there. So we're going to try and plopping this in there and see what happens really if it'll even decide to take it. So I've decided to pre-kill it because obviously these are very small slings and especially this little guy. I wasn't I'm I was actually really shocked about how small this one is, but you can say, tell down there it's tiny. But yeah, hopefully they'll eat the meal. Any dead debris left over, anything they don't eat will be taken out after 24 hours as well. Which is a definite must because if you do want to do this with pre-killed items, most definitely take out items uh, sooner than later. Obviously if they eat it right in front of you, it's like okay, they've eaten it. Um, that means you can, later on you can just take it out sooner. But if they don't eat it when you see it eating, then most likely just give it 24 hours. It doesn't want to uh, focus when I get closer to it, but you can see it back down over here. So that is the food right there, and that is the tarantula. This is the heartbreak tarantula, actually, the famous heartbreak tarantula that every tarantula keeper wanted to have when they realized that this thing had a heart butt. <laughs> it's absolutely adorable. It's one of the dwarf tarantulas as well. Let me see if I can grab. Maybe I bring it a bit closer, maybe. Oh, it reacted. Oh, I just hit the side. Whoopsies. It reacted to it, so maybe it'll take it. I'm hoping so. But it'll be super awesome if we get a capture of this. Because this will be the first time it's ever eaten in my care. Because we received it about two days ago from the Portsmouth Tarantulas, which was my first ever order with them. Like, I keep mentioning, like, I've never ordered them before, but I really wanted to. Because they have really nice tarantulas, and also for a decent price as well. But there you go. You just go around in circles. Let me start recording. currently has one of her legs just casually in her water bowl. <laughs> I don't know why she's done that, but apparently she has. You can see right there her little foot in the water dish. <laughs> I'm going to put the lid back on and try not to scare it. But yeah, it's got the food in there. I'll take out the food later on and within 24 hours. Oh, it's got scared. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, I guess we'll let it be, let it eat in its own time. Maybe it's still settling in, we don't know, but... If it doesn't eat it, that's fine, because it may just need more time to settle down. That's okay, because we can then just feed it later on again. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, you can check out all the other previous videos that have been made, especially the curly hair. Yes. Uh, housing the Trinidad Dwarf Tiger, uh, which is this species. I can't pronounce the name, unfortunately, but it's that one. Um, 
and also rehousing my Brazilian black into a bigger enclosure, which you can kind of see in the background over there when we were talking about it. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye! <laughs>